Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to review uh, my original Avante uh, quick drive that actually it's not my car. It used to be my uh, brother's car. I had the same day for Christmas, I had um, the uh, Monterey, which I still have, which is um, not on the video at the moment. This one uh, was in very bad condition. I managed to refurbish it and um, it was actually the first car I started to work on after I got back to the hobby four years ago and I uh, still have the original box, the original remote, uh, this is the original shell, so I changed many things but basically it's the same. Um, as you can see this bumper broke a little bit. Um, I think it was the original one. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not. But anyway, I have a new one that I need to fit. Brand new. Uh, the problem is it's supposed to be straight, like on the box. And this one is for the first versions of uh, the QD, the quick drive, which are slightly different. The bumper was like this. Um, the hex system, 6mm hex system inside is slightly different as well. The shells were a bit different and there is no ball bearing at the front. So this is how you recognize uh, version 1. So anyway, I'm going to fit this one later on. So I also have the original manual, which is cool. And I really wanted to show you some things that is, I think, quite rare. It's the French charger quick drive that we bought in 94, in end of 94. So maybe we had the car at the same time with my brother. I don't know. I forgot. And so you have um, fast charge at uh, 320 um, milliamp or 50 milliamp, which was a slow charge. And you could, as you know, guys, probably you can connect this directly on the side of the car. Where is it? It's over there. It's over here. There we go. You could charge the eight AA batteries directly on the car. So you didn't have to take them out all the time. Um, there we go. You put the crystal and eight AA batteries. It's it's a toy. It's not exactly hobby grade, but again, when I had it, I was 12 or 13 years old. So f to me, it was a, an amazing gift. Uh, tires were with uh, spikes. These are brand new rally block tires for M chassis, which fits these kind of smaller rims. Um, very important, this has, I don't know if you can see, it's a black motor that is, that was very rare at the time it was an option. I managed to find this motor, uh, brand new, uh, still in the packaging. That was uh, pretty cool and I actually way faster, not way faster, sorry, it was, it's much faster, okay, especially as soon as you put ball bearings uh, black motor and um, you regrease the D, for example, and uh, you put some new batteries, okay, with um, actual nickel metal hydride, uh, like the, the, the IKEA or the Eneloop or something like this. And uh, on another car that has the similar setup, I put a GPS on it and I managed to reach 20, more than 20 kilometers per hour, almost 21. Okay, which is great. And on uh, original one uh, that have no ball bearings because it's a uh, version one and that was just exactly the way it was in the 90s. Uh, it was only 16 kilometers per hour. So it's, of course, it's only a toy, but um, almost 21 kilometers per hour was qu quite fast for, for, for a toy. 
here we go. And also it comes with a tiny key with written, I don't know if it can focus, QD, quick drive. This is a 5.5 millimeter hex for the rims, for the all the wheels. It's pretty cool. Here it is, the remote. Again, you can, uh, this is a version 2 remote because there is a light on it. If you have a remote without the lights, it's a version one. That's the only difference with, with the two remotes. Thank you very much for uh, listening to all that. And I see you later for a new video. Bye.